I'm meteorologist Sean Sublett. It's important to remember that not every tornado is created equally. This is why the Fujita scale was developed in 1971 by Dr. Ted Fujita at the University of Chicago. With more data, it was updated and enhanced in 2007. That's why we have the enhanced Fujita scale today. It goes zero to five, the lowest level one, EF zero storms, 86 mile an hour winds or less. And for the most part, this is like a really bad thunderstorm. There will be a scattering of power outages and a couple of shingles might come off of your house. There'll be a couple of trees down, but most well-built homes are going to be just fine. EF1 scale damage is when the winds are upwards of 110 miles per hour. There are going to be more tiles and shingles torn off of roofs, but by and large, the roofs are still okay. There will be some broken windows as debris flies around the tornado and some smaller trees can be uprooted. Getting to EF2 level damage, this is considerable as the winds will be near 135 miles per hour. This is where large sections of roofs can be ripped away. Cars will oftentimes be flipped over, not tossed dozens of yards away, but at least flipped over and larger trees will be uprooted. Once we get to EF3 damage, that's genuinely severe. The second level of a home is probably going to be destroyed, essentially wiped out because you are elevated from the ground. Most standing objects are gonna to be toppled over. Bark begins to be ripped off of trees and vehicles are not just turned over, but they're blown for several yards. We get to truly violent tornadoes, the F4s and 5s. EF4 level, you've got the winds nearing 200 miles per hour. At this point, cars are legitimately thrown into the air for dozens of yards. Most homes will be level and a lot of landscaping will be stripped grasses, shrubs, they are going to be gone. And then EF5 is anything over 200 miles per hour because once you get to this level, everything's pretty much gone. You don't really need an EF6. Once you get to five, everything is gone with the winds more than 200 miles an hour. Grass ripped from the ground. All you've got is dust and debris. Homes are swept entirely off of their foundation. And in some instances, concrete is actually ripped from the ground. Debris that is thrown into an EF5 tornado will easily go dozens and dozens of yards away, if not several miles. These are exceedingly rare and exceedingly deadly. These are very difficult to survive if you're above the ground. That's why we always suggest getting below ground whenever possible. Otherwise, please be in the lowest room of whatever dwelling you are in, stay away from windows, and put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. This reminder, always stay with us for updates. We also invite you to download and subscribe to our National Weather Podcast. That's called Across the Sky.